well, well, hello, kids. We are going to start a new series called Back to Basics in which I go over problems. Just take my sweet old time doing it to make sure we understand everything that we need to do. Today's focus is on solving two step equations. So here we go. My goal is to get M, that guy, all by itself. Is it all by itself? No. In fact, I have two things in the way. I have an over 9, a divided by 9 in the way, and I have a minus 1 in the way. So if you're wondering which do I get rid of first, I mean I have to get rid of the 9 and I have to get rid of the negative 1, which one should I get rid of first? If your job is to isolate a variable, if your job is to get the letter all by itself, what you need to do is see what you have attached. If you have something attached to the letter, like in this case, I have nine literally attached to M. Or if you see something that's floating around, like in this case, negative one is floating around, always get rid of the thing floating around first. Negative one is not attached to the M. It's floating around on the same side. So I have to do the opposite of negative one and do that to both sides. The opposite of negative one is plus one, plus one. And then you can cross that out. Why do you cross out the negative one plus one? Because they just cancel each other out. If I owe a dollar, but I get a dollar, you know, I'm back to where I started. So they just cross each other out. Now we rewrite what we have. M over nine did not change. So I'm gonna bring down M divided by nine. On the right side, I have negative two, plus one. Negative two plus one is negative one. Is M all by itself now? No. What's in the way still? Over nine. Over nine means divided by nine. How do I get rid of divided by nine? The opposite of divided by nine, which is times nine. So I'm gonna multiply nine to both sides. So I'm gonna wrap everything in parentheses and times nine times nine to both sides. Nine divided by nine cancels itself out because nine over nine is one. So you basically have one M, which is what we have on the left, an M. On the right side, I have negative one times nine, which is negative nine. Is M all by itself now? Yes, it is. Circle your answer, M equals negative nine. So again, my job is to get M all by itself. It's called isolating the variable. Now that M is all by itself, I'm good. So if you have something attached and something floating around, get rid of the guy that's floating around first. M again. So I have something attached, which is negative four, and I have something floating around, which is positive five. I have to isolate M. Which one should I get rid of first? The thing that's floating around. What's floating around? Positive five. How do I get rid of positive five? Minus five, which is negative five. Subtract five. Do that to both sides. Now I write down what's left over. Negative 15 minus five is negative 20. Negative four M comes along for the ride. Okay, and these guys cancel each other out because if I have five dollars, but I lose five dollars, I have nothing. Okay, is M all by itself now? No. What's in the way? Negative four. How is negative four attached to M? It's being multiplied to M. So how do I get rid of a negative four that's being multiplied to M? Do the opposite, which is divide. Divide both sides by a negative four divide both sides by negative four, and the negative four over negative four cancels each other out because they just turn into one. A number over itself turns into one, so I have one M on the right side. Negative 20 divided by negative four is positive five. So I have positive five on the left, and I have M on the right. Is M all by itself yet? Yes, yes it is. But I don't like having my variable on the right side. Some people don't mind, but if five is M, I'm just gonna write out M is five. 
same thing. And M is all by itself. I'm in a rocking chair right now. That's why that's why the light's going up and down. It's not a ghost. It's like I'm riding a roller coaster. Oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Let's do a few more. Uh, another two-step equation. Is N all by itself? No. What's in the way? Eight. Anything else? Positive seven. Those are both in the way. Eight is attached to N. Positive seven's floating around. Which one should I get rid of first? The guy that's floating around. So the guy that's floating around is positive seven, plus seven. How do I get rid of plus seven? Subtract seven, the opposite. So I'm gonna subtract seven from both sides. Seven, take away seven, turns into nothing, goes away. Bring down what's left. I'm gonna bring down the eight N, bring down the equals, and 31 minus seven is 24. Is N all by itself? No. What's in the way? Eight. How is eight in the way? Well, it's being multiplied to N. So how do I get rid of something that's being multiplied to my variable? The opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide everything by eight. Divide by eight, divide by eight. Eight over eight crosses out because it becomes one. And on the left, I have one N which is what I want. And 24 divided by eight is three. I have to think about that for a second there. Is N all by itself now? Yeah. So that's my answer. Okay, one more, one more. Six equals A divided by four plus two is A all by itself. No, what's in the way? Divided by four. What else is in the way? Plus two. Which one should I get rid of first? The divided by four or the plus two? Get rid of the plus two because it's just floating around on the same side as A. So what's the opposite of plus two? Minus two, of course. What's the opposite of plus two? Minus two, of course. And whatever you do to the right, you have to do to the left. 2 minus 2 cancel out because it becomes nothing. On the left side, 6 minus 2 is 4. On the right side, these are gone now, and I have A over 4. Is A all by itself? No. What's in the way? Over 4. What does over 4 mean? Oh, that means divided by 4. So I have to get rid of divided by four. How do I get rid of divided by four? The opposite of divided by four, which is multiply both sides by four. So I'm gonna wrap these guys in parentheses to show that I'm multiplying. If you're an old fashioned person, you just wanna say times four times four. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you know what you're doing. But I'm a new fashion person. Look at me with the hipster glasses and the backwards cap. I'm gonna multiply both sides by four I'm gonna multiply both sides by four, cross you out. Okay, four divided by four crosses out because it becomes just one. And I have one A on the right. Four times four on the left is 16. Now 16 equals A, but that's like saying like Nick is my name. Well, yes, Nick is my name, but I really should say my name is Nick, which it is, Nick Parrish that is. And that should do it. We did four problems. We slowed it down a little bit. Uh, watch again if you need to, if you need to feel more comfortable. But that's it. Back to basics. Bye.